Halloween. Observed by Western Christians and many non-Christians around the world. Type Christian. Significance First Day of All Hallowtide. Celebrations Trick or Treating, Costume Parties, Making Jack-O-Lanterns, Lighting Bonfires, Divination, Apple Bobbing, Visiting Haunted Attractions. Observances Church Services, Prayer, Fasting, and Vigil. Halloween or Halloween, less commonly known as All Halloween, All Hallows' Eve, or All Saints' Eve, is a celebration observed in many countries on October 31st, the eve of the Western Christian Feast of All Saints' Day. It begins the observance of All Hallowtide, 8, the time in the liturgical year dedicated to remembering the dead, including saints, hallows, martyrs, and all the faithful departed. One theory holds that many Halloween traditions were influenced by Celtic harvest festivals, particularly the Gaelic festival Samhain, which are believed to have pagan roots. 13, 14, 15, 16, some go further and suggest that Samhain may have been Christianized as All Hallows Day, along with its eve, by the early church. Other academics believe Halloween began solely as a Christian holiday, being the vigil of All Hallows Day. Celebrated in Ireland and Scotland for centuries, Irish and Scottish immigrants took many Halloween customs to North America in the 19th century, 22, 23, and then, through American influence Halloween had spread to other countries by the late 20th and early 21st century. Popular Halloween activities include trick-or-treating, or the related guising and souling, attending Halloween costume parties carving pumpkins or turnips into jack-o'-lanterns, lighting bonfires, apple bobbing, divination games, playing pranks, visiting haunted attractions, telling scary stories, and watching horror or Halloween-themed films. Some people practice the Christian religious observances of All Hallows' Eve, including attending church services and lighting candles on the graves of the dead. Although it is a secular celebration for others, some Christians historically abstained from meat on All Hallows' Eve, a tradition reflected in the eating of certain vegetarian foods on this vigil day, including apples, potato pancakes, and soul cakes. Christian Origins and Historic Customs Halloween is thought to have influences from Christian beliefs and practices. The English word Halloween comes from All Hallows' Eve, being the evening before the Christian Holy Days of All Hallows' Day, All Saints' Day, on November 1st and All Souls' Day on 2 November, since the time of the early Church, major feasts in Christianity, such as Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost, had vigils that began the night before, as did the Feast of All Hallows. These three days are collectively called All Hallowtide and are a time when Western Christians honor all saints and pray for recently departed souls who have yet to reach heaven. Commemorations of all saints and martyrs were held by several churches on various dates, mostly in springtime. In 4th century Roman Edessa it was held on May 13, and on May 13, 609, Pope Boniface IV rededicated the Pantheon in Rome to St. Mary and all martyrs. 50. This was the date of Lemuria, an ancient Roman festival of the dead. In the 8th century, Pope Gregory III, 731-741, founded an oratory in St. Peter's for the relics of the holy apostles and of all saints, martyrs, and confessors. Some sources say it was dedicated on November 1st, while others say it was on Palm Sunday in April 732.by800. There is evidence that churches in Ireland and Northumbria were holding a feast commemorating all saints on November 1st. Alcuin of Northumbria, a member of Charlemagne's court, may then have introduced this November 1st date in the Frankish Empire. 58, in 835, it became the official date in the Frankish Empire. 
Some suggest this was due to Celtic influence, while others suggest it was a Germanic idea, although it is claimed that both Germanic and Celtic-speaking peoples commemorated the dead at the beginning of winter. 59. They may have seen it as the most fitting time to do so, as it is a time of dying in nature. 57. 59. It is also suggested the change was made on the practical grounds that Roman summer could not accommodate the great number of pilgrims who flocked to it, and perhaps because of public health concerns over Roman fever, which claimed a number of lives during Rome's sultry summers. Today's Halloween customs are thought to have been influenced by folk customs and beliefs from the Celtic-speaking countries, some of which are believed to have pagan roots. Jack Santino, a folklorist, writes that there was throughout Ireland an uneasy truce existing between customs and beliefs associated with Christianity and those associated with religions that were Irish before Christianity arrived. The origins of Halloween customs are typically linked to the Gaelic festival Samhain. Samhain is one of the quarter days in the medieval Gaelic calendar and has been celebrated on October 31st, November 1st in Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. A kindred festival has been held by the Britonic Celts, called Calangief in Wales, Calanguav in Cornwall and Calangond in Brittany, a name meaning first day of winter. For the Celts, the day ended and began at sunset, thus the festival begins the evening before November 1st by modern reckoning. Samhain is mentioned in some of the earliest Irish literature. The names have been used by historians to refer to Celtic Halloween customs up until the 19th century and are still the Gaelic and Welsh names for Halloween. Leslie Banatine and Cindy Ott write that Anglican colonists in the southern United States and Catholic colonists in Maryland recognized All Hallows' Eve in their church calendars, although the Puritans of New England strongly opposed the holiday along with other traditional celebrations of the established church, including Christmas. Almanacs of the late 18th and early 19th century give no indication that Halloween was widely celebrated in North America. It was not until after mass Irish and Scottish immigration in the 19th century that Halloween became a major holiday in America. Most American Halloween traditions were inherited from the Irish and Scots though, in Cajun areas, a nocturnal mass was said in cemeteries on Halloween night. Candles that had been blessed were placed on graves, and families sometimes spent the entire night at the graveside. Originally confined to these immigrant communities, it was gradually assimilated into mainstream society and was celebrated coast to coast by people of all social, racial, and religious backgrounds by the early 20th century. Then, through American influence, these Halloween traditions spread to many other countries by the late 20th and early 21st century, including to mainland Europe and some parts of the Far East. On All Hallows' Eve, many Western Christian denominations encourage abstinence from meat, giving rise to a variety of vegetarian foods associated with this day. Because in the Northern Hemisphere Halloween comes in the wake of the yearly apple harvest, candy apples, known as toffee apples outside North America, caramel apples or taffy apples are common Halloween treats made by rolling whole apples in a sticky sugar syrup, sometimes followed by rolling them in nuts. At one time, candy apples were commonly given to trick-or-treating children, but the practice rapidly waned in the wake of widespread rumors that some individuals were embedding items like pins and razor blades in the apples in the United States. While there is evidence of such incidents, relative to the degree of reporting of such cases, actual cases involving malicious acts are extremely rare and have never resulted in serious injury. Nonetheless, many parents assumed that such heinous practices were rampant because of the mass media. At the peak of the hysteria, some hospitals offered free x-rays of children's Halloween halls in order to find evidence of tampering. Virtually all of the few known candy poisoning incidents involved parents who poisoned their own children's candy. One custom that persists in modern-day Ireland is the baking, or more often nowadays, the purchase, of a barmbrack, Irish, barren break, which is a light fruitcake, into which a plain ring, a coin, and other charms are placed before baking. 
It is considered fortunate to be the lucky one who finds IT. IT has also been said that those who get a ring will find their true love in the ensuing year. This is similar to the tradition of king cake at the festival of Epiphany. A jack-o'-lantern Halloween cake with a witch's hat. List of foods associated with Halloween. Barmbrack, Ireland. Bonfire toffee, Great Britain. Candy apples slash toffee apples, Great Britain and Ireland. Candy apples, candy corn, candy pumpkins, North America. Chocolate. Monkey nuts, peanuts in their shells, Ireland and Scotland. Caramel apples. Caramel corn. Colcannon, Ireland, see below. Halloween cake. Sweets slash candy. Novelty candy, shaped like skulls, pumpkins, bats, worms, etc. Roasted pumpkin seeds. Roasted sweet corn. Soul cakes. Pumpkin pie. In the end, I thank Jason for your follow-up. We hope to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button, and do not forget to like. We also await your support through the Super Chat and the Thank You feature.